What's up, fam? Welcome back to another vlog. I'm in the car now and I'm headed up to Lidl's <laughs> to go get some things because we have some friends that's coming over tonight and we're going to spend some time and have some fun. Uh, talk a little bit about YouTube because they're interested and want to get on YouTube. But according to the title of this vlog, we wanted to kind of give you guys the backstory of how we got to where we are to, so we able to travel the way we travel uh, because at one point uh, we was unable to do it and it was very frustrating it was tiresome we hated it we made some necessary changes in our life to put us where we are right now to be able to do the traveling so we want we want to talk about that um, throughout this vlog man so uh, stick around if you want to come to the ride man because uh, let's we're gonna talk about it all right, y'all, I done been back from Littles and the Queen has been here. Where, where you came from? Littles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, y'all, I heard y'all been missing me. Like, I heard y'all was asking for me. That's a lie. It just sounds good to say that. What I did was, I got Stanley in charge of the green bees, so they're a little mushy, but they, they gonna be all right. And I made some homemade um, cauliflower mashed potatoes, and I thinned it out more than I wanted to, but the flavor is boom yeah. then i baked some chicken and i'm um, got it on um raw right now just to get a little bit more yeah. color on the top and made a little little slurry so it'll make it a little thick yeah. like a little like a little roux with a little, little gravy but that's about it sound like it's gonna be good um, too man so like i was telling y'all in the car when i was going to Lido's <laughs> that we had struggled and struggled to be able to travel and we said i told y'all we, we were gonna tell y'all the steps that we took to be able to oh, get to this point. i got this thing on bro oh sis the queen just pushing me out of the way because she almost burnt that chicken up yeah <laughs> but she don't know when i was um when she she put me in the told that she told you that she me in the duty of the uh the green beans I almost burnt them too caught them just in town i was talking to my mom on the phone Oh, so you you took <laughs> so on a whole yeah. project? Yeah, so I, I I admit it. I admit. Oh, you took on a whole project? You, you know when Helen gets you, she ain't gonna let you go. <laughs> but anyway, that, that's that's yeah. <laughs> how how we did it? Uh, I don't like the way you cutting me out. <laughs> <laughs> y'all remember that? Y'all watched the hard twist. Stop cutting me no, off, kid. But yeah, one of the things that we, the first one of the things that we had to do was that we had to make traveling a priority and what i mean by that when we first started off that you know we didn't have no money to do the kind of traveling we do now we started off with the timeshare vouchers mm -hmm. the ones where if you you know long as you make fifty thousand dollars a year and you haven't been to this resort yeah, in the last months. 12 months then you know y'all y'all already know the spill we Got did that yeah so we did that for years and we will always go down to williamsburg Every single year, we just, whoever got the voucher, that's, that's, that's the place that we going. And we did that for years. Give you a frame of reference. Uh, I found one of our old travel books. This is the time we wasn't um, actually vlogging on camera. We were just taking pictures on vacation. But this is one of the ones we went to the Wyndham, Kingsgate, and Williamsburg, where we actually used the time, where one of those vouchers, man. And uh, there's some pictures of us when we was down there. This is a long, long, long time ago. <laughs> Hi, y'all. <laughs> I'm here showing them the, uh, the book. Uh, so this is like some pictures we took of the resort. This is on the outside and everything. Is that the one we almost fell through the floor? No, nah, that's not the one. <laughs> but this They're probably is, like, what are you talking about? This is the inside, inside of the resort. So we... You know, did our best at the time we was doing to try to get some pictures but just wanted to kind of show you guys just to give you a frame of reference you know of the free vacations you know we didn't have no money and everything this is what we were doing and to make a long story short we actually went to a resort in master nothing a big mass of nothing and we told the gentleman that we did not want the resort we just here for the free stuff and we didn't even like it and we don't even like it and so he proceeds to try to tell us, oh, we scam artists and we professionals at this. And we said, nah, we, I said, we told you from the jump that we didn't want to be a part of this. 
And you insisted that you wanted to take us up on the ski slopes that, that yeah, take us up the mountain. <laughs> yeah, and all to that stuff. Merch. <laughs> yeah, all all that. And and we didn't we told you we didn't want it, so that's on you. So he walked away pissed off, and from that point we said It was humiliating. Oh shit. <laughs> oh <laughs> shoot. The guy doing Victor fell. Yeah. So so from that point on we was like, nah, we not doing any more of that kind of timeshare stuff. Cause like my wife said it was humiliating. I guess, I guess they're here. So we'll come back and finish this up after after we finish um, talking with them about YouTube, man. Y'all, we back. Uh, we had such a great time with uh, with did. our friends. Um, we talked about the YouTube thing. We talked about a whole lot of other things. <coughs> <coughs> yeah, I've been eating, eating pistachios and a piece of the... Uh, the nut? Yeah. You got, <laughs> I, will, you I was trying to be a little bit more goof. You, got, you know? <laughs> you got nut in your throat. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> this is a family channel, man. Families eat nuts. <laughs> they get nuts in their throat, too. Yeah, I want to say her tonight. We talked about out. a little bit of everything, and I'm, we say we are so glad. Actually, we have been trying to get that get together for the like, last two freaking years. <laughs> yeah. So, putting groceries, I mean, putting um, the food away. From tonight's festivities, and gonna clean up real good and whatnot. Yeah. But uh, food was good. Yeah. Of course. Food was delicious. Stanley said I, he think this was my best batch of cauliflower mash to date. Yeah, it was delicious. I only think we even got. There's not a lot left. Do we have more? It's, Just it's a little bit. Yeah. yeah. It's enough for us tomorrow. Cool. But other than that. I'm gonna turn it in early. Oh, like I said, this is an exhausting week. Tell them the the, the rest of the of the story. Which one? Um, at Mass Nothing with the dude oh. saying that we was professional uh, scam artists. We do this, you know, we come and trick them and all y'all that I already told y'all that, and that spiraled us into never saying we again. never gonna do that again because, like I said, we was humiliated. It was embarrassing. I was like, we want to be able to pay for our own vacation. We don't want to get this free stuff and get, you know, go to this street. And feel low budget. Right. And so we started, we created a savings account and we started saving for our vacation. I can't remember the first I think it was place. Like $25 a month. Yeah, it was like, it was like 20, 25 or something. Yeah. But I can't remember the place that we uh, said we was going to, what we were saving for, but it was somewhere in Williamsburg. So through that savings, we was able off that twenty five dollars a month. We was able to actually pay for our first vacation at a resort out of that savings. Then we started looking into our finances and seeing where we were spending our money, and we were seeing that we were spending our money on stuff that we really didn't love, which was spending a whole bunch of money on car payments, car payments credit card uh, payments, personal loan payments over buying stuff that we didn't even love anyway so we was like wait a minute all this money right here is going to these financial companies won't we just go ahead and pay off all this debt <laughs> and now we can use that money to be able to travel the world like we want because we already got the money but it's just going a different direction so we just need to change the flow of that money to flow back to us so we can put that money in our savings account so we can travel and I'm it was slow because at first I yeah, think it was, what we it was, did yeah, it was slow. It started off very slow. So I think in the beginning what we did, don't quote me because it's been so long ago, is just because you want to be debt free immediately doesn't mean it's going to happen, right? Right. So we knew that we had a ways to go and we had a plan to do so, but at the same time we knew that we needed to start traveling as well. So within that, so for instance, if you had a bill, um, something that was due and it was fifty dollars a month but you were doubling it up on it and paying a hundred dollars a month. What we would do is we would pay 75 and take the other 25 and save it towards our vacations. So that's how we began our vacation yep. savings yep. by peeling back of paying stuff off at a more accelerated rate right. by also doing that as well. So we kind of balance the field. And then what we do, and I think some people be like, how in the world do y'all take so many? is basically we're in a rotation of saving for them so we just have a pool of money that's available right. for travel yep. it doesn't matter where doesn't matter when 
Uh, if we find a good deal and we think it's worth it to pull out of that pool of money, that's what we do. Yep. Um, but it took us to get into the cycle and the first year of real travel is going to be the hardest because that same year that you travel, you're saving towards the next one. Yep. And the next one. Yep. So it's like you're always in the cycle of boom, I'm traveling, boom, saving for the next. Boom, traveling, saving for the next. And then you'll get to a point where you're traveling and you can actually book the next because your money has caught up. Yep. And that's where we are now. Like we can travel and book the next while we're traveling or book several while we're traveling. That's not a brag, it's a strategy. It's not that we have a lot of money. <laughs> Right, so it's back to like like I was, like I said in the beginning is prior it's making it a priority. It's something that you love, and and not only that, I actually thought about also what we started doing was stuff that was around here that wasn't of that much value to us, like extra cell phones, extra like tablets the and stuff. iPhone. Yeah, we would sell that stuff on eBay. Um, uh, well, eBay at that time, but then eventually Poshmark and uh, Craigslist and Offer Up and that stuff came later. But in the beginning, it was Speaking like Poshmark. Have y'all checked out my Poshmark? Right. <laughs> a lot of my stuff that I um, wore on the yeah, cruise, we'll, I'm we'll, selling it if it's still available. We'll I'm link selling. that below. But e eBay was like clutch for us, and we would sell that unwanted. Well, not well stuff that was just laying around here doing nothing, and selling, right. and we would sell that stuff. And apply that money to the debt, and apply that money into our. We'll do a and I save yep, it on that. Yep, into the savings account so we could travel. Yep. Yep. Our camera was a hater last night. We were talking some good stuff to y'all. None of it recorded. None of it. So we said well, the last portion of it didn't record. First of all, stop <laughs> contradicting me. Yeah, the last part of it didn't record. It was the good stuff that didn't record. Yeah. In my opinion. But anyway, so like we told y'all, or maybe we didn't, not sure we left off. We're going to Home Goods. So we finally got ourselves out the house at 2.15 p.m. Yeah. But it feels good to be out. I don't think yeah. I've been out the house. Have I been out this week? I don't, I don't think, think I've been out. I don't out. think you've been out, yeah. I've I been haven't out. been out since my grandma's party. Yeah, because I've, I've been one running to the show. Yeah. But E.T. Hutos, let's get into an email that I received and I felt like I needed to share this with y'all because it's still on the traveling tip, right? So, someone who was actually a travel agent, not gonna mention the name because I didn't get permission to do so, but she wanted to know how is it that we travel so often with a nine to five because she's also a travel agent that works a nine to five. And my answer is pretty much this. This is how we've done it and we've done it like this for a very long time. We take two major vacations a year, which means that it is five days during the week and, and then our weekends and then we go back to work. So usually it's about seven days that we're not at work right. or even eight. The way we structure those ones is we do them around a holiday. That's one less vacation day that you have to use. Then when we want to take those vacations in the middle of the year where we just need mental breaks or just want to get out where we see a good deal, we try to do those on and begin those on Friday and end those on Monday. Return to work on Tuesday. If we really want to stretch it, return to work on Wednesday. Yeah. That way you're only using at, you know, at two most or two, or two or three PTO days, PTO days at yeah. a time. You can do that. Like we call it maximizing the weekend. Let the weekend be a part of that vacation so you don't have to take that time off of work and using those good old days because PTO days is better than money, real talk. Right. <laughs> when you only get a certain amount. We get 30 some. Yeah. But even with that, that's because of our years of service. Yeah, because of years of service. And they don't give us any other time. Like there's no sick time, there's no family um like family care time where you can take your mom to the doctor or something like that. Of course you have your short term disability, long term disability, stuff like that. But any time when you need a couple of days off here and there, that's out of that pool of time. Yeah. Y'all let us know down in the comments if y'all have any other ways that y'all do it and structure it so that you can maximize your time and right. the many vacations that y'all take. Y'all check out our shirts. I'm sorry that yeah. the seatbelt don't went across it, but it's from Power in Black. If y'all have been on yeah. any kind of social media, I know you have seen their post up and down. 
And finally, I was like, I'm going to get me one of these God doing shirts because I like them. Baby, when I tell you those shirts came like in three days, yeah, no exaggeration. I was so waiting for it to be this time next month before I got my shirt, real talk, because that's how I'd be sometimes. <laughs> these shirts are bomb. Yeah, these are bomb. Bomb quality. Yeah. I'm about to Good place. Fit. Yeah, I'm about to place another order, probably tomorrow, because I couldn't choose which shirt I wanted to do my test run with. So I chose this one. It is what it is by the First Lady of the United States, the Forever First Lady, Michelle Obama. Yeah. And Stanley has one that has what is it? If I'm what is it? I never lose. I either win or I learn. learn. Yeah. So yeah, that's that's his shirt by Nelson Mandela. Yeah. So uh, the company gave us a 15% uh, code off for y'all, man. So if y'all want to buy a shirt, you can get 15% off. And that's going to be down in the, in the description there. The code is my name, Lynette. Lynette. L-Y-N-E-T-T-E. -E. Now y'all yeah. know how to spell my name. <laughs> yeah, but I love these shirts. And yeah. Like I said, I'm going to order um, some more because we want to put them in rotation on our channel. Because what? So back to the conversation that we had last night about our struggle and what we did to change stuff around so that we was able to travel so we can, you know, live the life that we wanted to live is first, like I said, you got to prioritize, you got to love traveling. And the best way to do that is to get out and start traveling to find out if this is what you really love because sometimes we can have an idea for everybody else yeah because we're looking at you know videos and pictures on instagram and facebook and we feel like that's what we want so before you jump out there you know and take you know spend a whole bunch of money on a, on a cruise or or international vacation like do some local stuff man and just find out if this is what you really want to do and then if this is what you really want to do is then you start planning out like we did paying off debt putting money to the side by opening up that vacation savings and then the next thing is is do, executing on your plan man three, three yeah. steps and you said something key too like getting out there and just learning what you like yeah because our style of vacation it may not be your style of vacation and it was funny because the couple that we were um that came over the house last night our friends they were um we were talking about finding your travel compatibility. Shit, I can't talk. Your compatible travel partners. Right. You can't travel with everyone either. So when you start like wanting to start traveling, make sure that you're taking people with you that are like-minded, that move the way that you move. Right. Because even with us, we don't travel with everybody. Like people will be like, oh, I want to travel with y'all. I want to do this. The way y'all move and the way that y'all like to do things on vacation is not conducive to how we do things. Right. We're not the type of people that like to eat out every time we are, you know, when we're on vacation. Like for me, I get sick of it. So I want to do some things where I'm just like bringing my own stuff or going to the store shopping and maybe cooking my own breakfast or something like that because I will get sick of it after a while. But if I'm on a vacation and you're the main focus of the vacation and I'm coming along with you. I'm on the I'm on the beat of your drum. Right, exactly. And I don't have a problem with that. But yeah, like even with less, like us going on cruises, we go on cruises mostly because it's our opportunity to be with our family. Because right. that's the that's the traveling method that they are comfortable with. It's not ideal for us. Like we like we said, we'll do it. Yeah. But we, it's, we, it's it's not our love. We all inclusive. We rather do that. Yeah, we <laughs> yeah. And like Y'all know why we just went on a cruise this last time. It was because we felt like it was the safest method of travel for us to get out of the country at this and, moment. And get international, get to Jamaica. Yeah. <laughs> so we did it. Would I do it again? Uh -huh, I would. But if I had other options, the cruising wouldn't be it. I'll tell you that. Yeah. So some of y'all might be like, well, that's all good and everything and, and saving, you know, you know, saving money to be able to travel. But what happens if you only make enough money to be able to just pay your bills? How can I set money aside to travel then? Easy. First, like we said, you look into your finances to see if you're spending money in places that you don't enjoy, mm -hmm. that you really don't love. You're just doing it as a pastime or just something to do, just to, you know, quote unquote, to say you're living. But if you look in there and you see that you, you that everything you spend money on is stuff that you enjoy and you like to do the next thing is you have to move and start doing stuff to increase your income mm -hmm. and that's where you can really get creative 
And let me let, let's let you in on a secret. That very thing could be the stuff that you love to do. Most of the time it is. Right. And that you offer that what you love to do in the marketplace. For free. And people very well may pay you for it. But you never know if you don't step out. So that's 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 the thing that you have to do. If if you got oh you want to make enough money to pay your expenses, your living expenses, and you want to travel, definitely look for ways to increase increase your income. Man, man, these people are driving crazy. Yeah, they crazy out here, out here today. Look, you see me looking <laughs> around. I'm like, I'm driving for him, them, and everybody else right now. Well, we up here now, y'all, up around uh, Trader Joe's because we need to come up here and take a few photos. Yep. And uh, and then, then we need to do a little bit of shopping in there because uh, if y'all know anything about that orange chicken, man. And since we back on the meat a little bit, Stanley said, I need to go ahead and get that part out my system. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I can dig it. I can dig it. I'm trying to figure out because we want to take pictures on a brick Thank background. You. So we're thinking about the corner right here of um, Trader Joe's, but I don't, I don't think this is gonna work. I didn't realize bushes was right bushes there. Right there. But there's so many places up in Short Pump that we can just get out and take a picture. Real talk. Mm -hmm. We may be able to go over there where like the, um, where they have the theater. Yeah, let's go this way. Yeah. yeah, but as y'all can see, man, it's real nice out here in Show Pump. This is where we were trying to um, move to, but we couldn't sell our house at the time. Yeah. When the last market crash happened, like these places, you know, we could get on two of them back then for like two hundred and fifty thousand. Yeah. Now they start at like three hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars. But yeah, we were like, okay, we're all in. We it was a four level with the terrace on the rooftop yeah which was awesome where man. the it elevator nice. went up and down which we weren't even thinking about my mom at that point because she wasn't living with us but hindsight being 2020 it would have been the best setup because yeah the elevator would have been for her use she could go up and down the levels without any issues yeah one of these days we gonna get real blessed and we gonna get the house that we need for our needs right and i'm claiming soon I ain't just claiming it. I'm working towards it. Cause you yeah, know that too. Hold on oh. now, player. Yeah, that too. And you know people, church people like to claim stuff and don't do nothing else. Yeah, you got to you gotta have an action plan. And then they say, you know, you be like, what, what happened to that house you was claiming? And then if good Lord ain't see fit and all, your lazy A ain't get out there and do what you needed to do to put yourself <laughs> in position for it. That's all I'm looking for. Let's see. Y'all, do y'all see a place for us to take pictures at? Do y'all see one? I can just park in this deck. Right, and walk out. Just walk out. out. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna go over here in this parking deck. You know what? Can you park right here? Are they? Are they for people? Need to park? I don't see nothing to say you can't park there. Yeah, here we go. You only call me on the weekends when you're out and about. Only chasing highs, you need me. He brings me flowers on a Tuesday. He gives me good love and something that I never thought existed. I know what I need, ain't gonna lie. I know what I want, speaking my mind now. The queens are king, be by your side. All right, good folks, we done finished the photo shoot. And, um, we didn't kill each other. Yeah. <laughs> Usually, so y'all don't know this, when it comes time to take pictures, Stanley is really anal because he- Yeah, that's the stuff I love. Because he want. educates himself and he be like, you need to be on the lower third, <laughs> the higher third. And I'm like, just take the goddamn picture. And then by then I'm so frustrated, I just don't even care about the picture anymore. But we didn't kill each other. Yeah. We did good. <laughs> did real good. So now, Trader Joe's we didn't do. We're like in the middle of the parking lot. Y'all seen us stand here loft a couple of times. Yeah, that's over there. That's um Yeah, we don't want to stay there no more. We we high class now. We over at the jewelry. At the over there at the Hilton Spa. So, so that's the, that's an all-inclusive hotel. <laughs> no. It is kind of all inclusive. It's all inclusive hotel. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's exactly what it is, right? Um so now we have to go to our original plan and 
deposit some money in the bank. Who does that anymore? Like, yeah. Cause my mom gives us cash. <laughs> so that's the only time we had to go to the, oh my thumb. I just reactivated my thumb, hurt y'all. Okay. It's like when I re-hit it, takes it all the way back to Jamaica on that, on that mountain with them white kids. <laughs> All right, good folks. We done we done arrived at the home home goods, so we're gonna go in here and see if we can find these towels and plus something else. Cause we always when we come here for one thing, we end up getting three, four, five other things. Ten, twelve. Right. So we hope that we you know we gave y'all some ideas and information and motivation to traveling in this vlog. Um, if you have any questions for us, feel free to put them down in the comments. But guys, we're going to catch y'all in the next freaking vlog. Straight from the VA. The Dirty Dirty South. Two up. Shiny Five is out. Two down. I love